continued from last time. Welcome back, everybody. Abla VC Mortem here. Gonna be playing some more of this game, which is Corpse Party. So far, things have gotten a little bit spooky. We've been transported to a different school than what we started out from initially. There were some ghost stories and stuff. And now we're gonna try and figure out why it is that we're seeing ghosts. I don't exactly know where I'm going. I'm just kind of guessing. It said that the friendly ghosts leave blue stuff. And that one ghost that showed up glowed blue. So does that mean the ghost that was writing all that stuff on the wall was actually a friendly ghost? Kind of confused now. Here's the pee bucket. Can I do anything with it yet? So if I really had to go, what would I do? It's a last resort, but it's an option. All right, so I guess they're considering the piss bucket. Okay, I can't get over there because I need broken boards. So I'm going to keep my eye out for more of these boards. Unless, can I take this one? Nope. Okay. Oh, hey, boards. So now I get a loose board. Okay. I don't think I've gone this way yet. Have I? Oh, yeah, because this was where I got to down here. Okay. Oh, here's a door that's not been opened. Can't open it yet. What's this? The door is nailed shut. It definitely won't be opening anytime soon. Okay, basement. Do not enter under, under any circumstances. Principal Takamine Yanagihori. Okay, well, I've got at least another skeleton and stuff. My head is splitting. It's unbearable. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. When we found Yazuha's body... I saw a black shadow, but I didn't tell anyone about it, and now, it's killed them all. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. The lower half of the text is obscured by a thick layer of dried blood. There are skeletal remains sprawled across the floor here, small enough to be a middle schooler looking closely. You can see a student ID name tag. Koto Fujiwara. Skull cracked open with blunt, blunt instrument. Okay. Blunt instrument. Interesting. There's talk of scissors. Scissors are sharp, so it wouldn't be a blunt instrument in that case. So that's... Is there two killers? And maybe I have to figure out which one's the bad killer? Place the loose boards? Let's do it! Where do we get to now? We're going up. Gotta go up a level to go up a level. I'm our, oh, what was that? What was that? Okay, well, it's not here anymore, so I'm just gonna assume it left. Do not revix me or the count. See. Some of the letters have faded away completely, making it difficult to place together what the sentence is saying. I feel like it says something about a student council, but I don't know what. There's a crumpled piece of paper on the ground seems to have fallen from the corpse's left hand. God will surely save me. A pile of haphazardly strewn human bones is heaped upon the floor. Upon closer examination, a student ID name tag can be seen jutting out from one side. Sasha Sinonome. Ribcage smashed in with a blunt, blunt instrument. See, if the blunt instrument, that wasn't the scissors again. Boys' room to the left, girls' room at the end of the hall. There's a clump of unidentifiable meat inside the rusted bucket, completely crawling with maggots. That's kind of gross. The smell of ammonia is almost staggering here. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Whoa! Shut the goddamn door. Well, what the hell was that? That was either an actual voice or an auditory hallucination. And I really don't want to know which is more likely. I'm brave. Eh, I guess it didn't do anything. Don't want to skip one. It won't open. Okay. 
So the fourth stall won't open for some reason. Did all that. What now? Uh, hey, Naomi. Hmm? Do you have any of that ass medicine on you by any chance? You know, the smeary stuff. What? Again? Yeah, my butt's been drier in a desert since we got here. Well, I've got some antibacterial cream if, that, if that'll work. Thanks. I'm going to go butter up my pooper with it real good. That is not a statement anyone should say. Yay. Do you have any shame at all? It's a little weird. All right, let's go see if she's okay, I guess. Buttering up your pooper real good. Oh, she can't be in that one, right? Seiko? Hmm? Ah, uh, nothing. Just checking to make sure you're here. Okay, so I guess that one... Doesn't open anyway, because she's in it. So what do I do now? Go looking around without her? Big brother. <laughs> what? Was that Yuka? So is Yuka the girl that was just with me? Is she crying to her big brother? Seiko? Hmm. Uh, nothing. Just checking to make sure you're here. Sorry for the wait. Thanks for the cream, Naomi. Put her there. Uh, no problem. Hey, wait. Was that stall open? Hmm? I thought that stall was locked when we were in here before. Was it? I didn't have any trouble getting in. Fine. I guess I'll let you off the hook. We have bigger things to worry about, after all. I actually just heard Yuka's voice out in the hallway. I think it was coming from downstairs. Really? Let's go check it out. Right. So Yuka's the one guys, which I thought was going to be the, oh, oof. Naomi, are you okay? That was a close one. Mm, my leg. Thanks for lending me a hand. No problem. I'm just glad you didn't fall all the way down. Seems like you sprained your ankle really badly, though. We should find you someplace to sit down and rest. Yeah, you're probably right. Here, lean on my shoulder for the time being. Thanks. I owe you one, Seiko. Think nothing of it. We haven't been successful at finding a way out yet. I doubt we'll have more luck anytime soon. Besides, I don't think my ankle can take much more. Okay, well, place to rest to me seems like the infirmary. That's not the infirmary. Oh, God. I think I stepped in it. Ew, you did? Here, I've got some tissues. Maybe you can wipe it off? Ugh. These, these are definitely somebody's guts. And when I stepped on whatever part of their body I stepped on, it made a squishy sound like I just plopped my shoe into a juicy pile of dog poo. Oh, God. That's way too much information. You're going to make me puke. So sorry. Yeah, that is kind of gross. I don't know why you would tell somebody that. Oh, hey, there's a note. The fate that awaits you from here on out is a cruel one indeed. You may wish to record your progress on another layer of candlelight. For if one fate is overwritten, it may never be remade. Playing the odds and creating multiple paths for yourself is one of the basics of survival. So, save here and here. How about that? How about that? Huh. Somehow, I expected beds to be a lot dustier. They are surprisingly clean. That's good, though. Now you can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. Yeah, I think I'm going to lie down for a bit. All tucked away in the corner like that? I've always preferred nooks and corners. They just make me feel safe, I guess. <laughs> I know just what you mean. I'm the exact same way. I wonder if there's anything in here we should use to soothe that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm going to take a look. Okay, thanks a bunch. Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. Hmm. Ah, this'll do nicely. I got me a makeshift splint and some bandages. That sprain's a goner. Now hold still. Oh man, you're a lifesaver. Alright, you wrapped up tight? How's it feel? Mm, feels great, Seiko. Thank you. 
You're very welcome. I've sprained my ankle pretty badly before too, so I know just how you feel. I wish I had some ice or something to put on it though. No worries, you've done more than enough already. Uh, you're asleep now? That's fair enough, I guess. Glad you agree. <laughs> it's slumberland for me. You really are an oddball, you know that? So hey, Naomi? Hmm, if we find Machida, have you thought about what you want to do with him? Huh? Well, you know what they say when two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say? It often leads to love, sweet love. You should well up all of your courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in this creepy place and your cuteness factor will grow three sizes in his eyes, I bet. I swear, with you around, I almost feel like we're just shooting the breeze back at school, like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Thanks for your advice. I'll think about it. <laughs> I hope we find him soon. Uh-huh. You kinda don't, though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish he didn't have to be put through all this. You want to see him, but you wish you could rest easy knowing that he's safe and sound back home, rather than wandering around here, am I right? Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in, huh? You're a deep one, to be sure. She may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all counts. Guess there's no fool in Seiko. I've been pretty curt with her since we last got here. I'll have to make sure I apologize later. Mmm... And what was that, exactly? <laughs> Sorry, it's just that when I see that ass of yours, I start to drool. You are so weird. Big brother. <laughs> that was Yuka again. I heard it too. I'll go take a look. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy. I don't think that's such a good idea. I should go too. I insist. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Just keep that ass parked on that bed. You got it? Well, but... Look, your ankle's all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing. Alright, I guess I'll stay here. Mm, my ankle really does feel a lot better. Seiko has a definite knack for caretaking. Uh, Miss Yui and the others, Satoshi? I wonder what they're all doing right now. Huh? What the hell is wrong with you, Satoshi? Get a hold of yourself and get off me! That's my chest! Uh, sorry, sorry. I couldn't see where I was grabbing. You're lucky, you're so cute. Ooh, she got a thing for him and he grabbed her tits. I just want to see him. Why did this have to happen? Okay. So now what? The one girl's not back. Let's do another save, because why not? Alright, let's... Why is the door locked? A closer inspection, there's no visible bolt keeping the door closed. Nor any other evidence that it's been locked at all. W what? But if it's not locked, then why won't it open? Weird. Are those... children? Let's all go on a field trip together over the summer vacation. Huh? Who? What? That's kind of weird. Wait, what did that say about- There's a pair of scissors on one of the shelves, both its blades covered literally in blood. Wait, those are the murder scissors! Best quantities of medicine. Okay. My head hurts so bad. I can't stop this ringing in my ears. Okay, what do I do? Go back to bed? Go to the door again? Oh! The door is latticed with countless strands of black hair, rooting it in place. Okay, oh. Is, is someone there? Sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. Let her move a tongue. First, you must ensure the patient's arms and legs are tied down tightly, preventing escape. Next, insert a fixed metal object into the patient's mouth, 
to impede jaw movement and keep the mouth locked in an open position. The patient may attempt to pull back or curl its tongue to impede your progress. No need to worry. The effects of this will prove negligible. Open your scissors all the way, then close them hard around the base of the tongue, as far back as you can manage. The patient will thrash and scream, so it is recommended you apply as much pressure as possible and attempt to complete your task in one fell swoop. Pull. Who's that? I'm getting pushed back. Oh. Sachi, have you come to find me? Oh. Oh, what the? I need to get away. Oh. Okay. Places. Fall on a. Oh shit. Uh, no thanks. Nope. Oh god. The black mist begins to wrap itself around Naomi's body. There's no questions. This is malevolent force. If it continues, death is inevitable. Please get away. Why? Why? Oh my god. Can I oh shit. What's in here? Vast quantities of medicine tonics lined up. Can I not? Uh, uh, fuck. Oh, oh my god. Okay, that's not helpful. Uh, it's no use. Where did this hair come from? God help me. Try using a match to burn the hair? Oh, that's a perfect idea. Flame wasn't strong enough to do any significant damage. Oh, okay. What do I do here? Okay, come here. Alright, so I, I just gotta loop him. It's dead by daylight. Got it. And I think I get this. Because there's alcohol, right? Yeah, take the rubbing alcohol. That'll do it. Very old bottle of rubbing alcohol. Still filled almost all the way to the top. Okay, run, 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 run. Yeah. Douse the hairs with rubbing alcohol. Yes. After hastily splashing alcohol all along the edges of the door, Naomi lit a match in an attempt to burn through the seemingly endless strands of hair. With a sizable whoosh and a waft of foul-smelling heat, the hair lit up, then hardened and fell away, freeing the door and allowing it to open. All right, cool. I can get out. Screw that guy. Can he follow me out? I hope not. I'm going to kill you. Naomi, what happened? Are you okay? Seiko, sorry for the mess. What are you talking about? Don't apologize for barfing, you poor girl. Everything's okay. You'll feel better now that it's out of your system. You need me to rub your back? Ugh, I think I'll be fine. Thanks, though. Did you find Yuka? Looks like we really are the only two people here. The only two living people, anyway. This place is just way too quiet. How about you, Naomi? Is your leg any better? Are you okay to be up and about? While I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black apparition thing. What? Oh my god, are you alright? I think so. We should consider that room off limits from here on out, though. That's fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I guess we'd better keep moving, then. Can you stand? Yeah. But where are we supposed to go? Hmm, well, we've already been pretty much everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school. And the only other people we've come across are all dead. Damn it, there I go again. It's hopeless. We're finished. And I'm so tired. I'm acting like a child again. Naomi, come on. It's not that bad. We'll figure something out. Class two niners never say die, right? We're invincible. We've got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow. And I intend to keep it. And then in the afternoon? What say you and I go get our bikes fixed? Sound like a plan, right? If we make it back alive, sure. This is Seiko. What am I doing? I just can't seem to hold back. Naomi, are you, like, super duper tired or something? This is so not like you. Come on, raise that chin. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. What the hell's got you so chipper? Uh, hmm? You just keep smiling and laughing. D do I? Tell me, how long is that going to last if it turns out we can never go home again? Have you given that any thought at all? We'll figure something out. That's a crock, and you know it. I must have finally cracked under the pressure. This whole situation was just more than my soul could bear. 
I thought I'd be keeping Seiko's spirits up till the bitter end. But just like that, I was berating her, abusing her. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. It was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out irrationally and couldn't stop. Venomous words were flowing from my mouth as if someone had turned on a spigot. All I could do was moan, complain, and belittle. I really was behaving just like a spoiled little brat. I'm sure our families are going to be really worried about us. They're going to search and search, but they'll never find us. It'll be a terrible burden for them. You're wrong. How so? About it being a burden. When you lose a loved one, you cherish that person's memory. It's never a burden. You just want to do whatever you can. Whatever you can to make her proud. You just want to... So you do. What is wrong with me? Seiko's mom disappeared several years ago. I know that. So why am I putting her through all this grief? That's how I think the people we leave behind are going to feel. I don't know how it is for you and your family. But normal people don't work that way. Hey, Omi. Sorry. How about we split up? We can cover more ground that way. Maybe find a clue to help us get out of here. Seems like the most efficient plan of attack, don't you think? Who... Who says things like that? I have to apologize. I want to get home as much as you do. Back to my dad. And you. And everybody else. Uh, and I sure as hell don't want to make them worry about me. This is all my fault. I have to apologize. But most of all, I don't want you, of all people, to speak to me like that. Seiko, I'm, I'm, I'm so... I... I'm sorry too, but it's okay. If that's what you think we should do, then let's split up. I'll go this way. What the hell is wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to say the word sorry. It's like this place is built to destroy friendships or something. I'd heard her loud and clear though. She was trying her hardest to keep my spirits up, trying her hardest to make me feel better. But the way I was at that moment, Seiko was just a little too bright for me. So bright that it hurt. And so, in this nexus of closed spaces where humans are scattered and imprisoned and killed, two friends who should have been thankful just for the small favor of being trapped together in this unforgiving place were quickly and easily divided. My petty obstinacy towards Seiko would come to be the biggest regret of my life, as the consequences of that heated exchange were far more dire than I ever could have imagined. I mean, I told her to say sorry. <laughs> Naomi. <laughs> that jerk. Wait. I I think I just heard somebody calling out. Follow the voice? Uh, I got nothing better to do. Something. That was the first time, huh? First time I ever fought with Naomi like that. <sighs> For the moment Seiko and I parted ways, the fear I'd been harboring since I got here just kept growing stronger and stronger. I felt like something else was in my head, like I was under some alien influence. In my mentally distraught state, I ran all through the building, frantically searching for Seiko. I just kept calling her name over and over. Strangely, I have no memory of where I went during this time. I just ran as if in a daze, unaware of and unconcerned with my surroundings. When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. Seiko! Seiko, where are you? Come on, Seiko, don't leave me by myself in here. <laughs> Seiko? Is that you? Whoa. Okay, not the boys' bathroom. Okay. Ali Ali Oxen free. Somebody's in a bathroom stall. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. It was the fourth one before, right? 
Oh, that's a creepy noise. Stall door is locked from the inside. Someone's definitely in there. <gasps> Holy shit. Seiko! No! Why? Why? No! No! Okay, honestly though, holy shit, I did not expect that at all. N oh, me? Seiko, you're alive. Hold on, I'll get you down. Uh, 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 sorry, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Uh. The news around Seiko's neck is attached directly to the ceiling and there's nothing at her feet. All attempts to help her are, s are just strangling her further. Wait, what do we do? What do we do? What do we... Strangle. Ah, no, no, no. That's just making it worse. We need a platform. Something for her to stand on. Let's try that bucket. There's a bucket outside, right? Let's grab the bucket. Yeah. Clang, splurge, sclutter. Ugh, this is so revolting, but if it saves Seiko. A significant number of maggots have found their way into Naomi's hands and skirt. An old, heavily corroded bucket full of moldy deposits and highly sated energetic insects. Filthy bucket. Okay, 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 okay. Seiko, I'm right here. Filthy bucket fell from Naomi's hands. With blank eyes, Seiko swung back and forth slowly in her noose. All life had been completely drained from her face. No! 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 <laughs> Why would you hang yourself? You're smiling and laughing all this time. Didn't you say we'd find a way out of here together? Stop this. Don't leave me. Say something! Seiko. I want to apologize for you for what I said. Up until just a few hours before, I was laughing and playing in school with my best friends. Now here she was right in front of my eyes, lifeless, hanging from a noose. How could I possibly accept that as reality? I can't believe this is real. I refuse to accept it. It just can't be. Hey everybody, me and my friend Electrify made this music, he did most of the work, so check out his channel, link in the description, and don't forget to like and subscribe.